Oh man, I'm hungry. Can't you hear my stomach growling? It's growling. My stomach, listen. Here, look, get a close up of my stomach. See it? See how she's growling right there? So hungry. Which is why we're gonna be looking at Elizabeth Copeland on TikTok, who has some of the most enticing and delicious looking recipes on TikTok. And let me tell you, I'm just so excited to jump into this. So let's just do it. Oh, there's so many options here. This one looks enticing. Taco lasagna. Mmm. Hey guys, y'all ready to make a quick supper, low carb redneck style? Your oven probably can't even heat up quicker than you can get this done. I'm gonna show you what you're gonna need. We're gonna use some low carb tortillas. I cut them in half. Grated up some Monterey Jack cheese. She's not even showing the ingredients. Some pico de gallo. Myself, it's got tomato in there, cilantro. Then we got some taco meat. Oh, that meat looks so dry. Oh my God. How is it even that dry? Look how dry that is. Did that have fat to begin with? She said beef, right? I've already browned and seasoned with taco seasoning. And then I made a cheese sauce out of a half a stick of butter. Butter? That's not cheese sauce, what is that? Half a stick of butter in your cheese sauce? Half a block of cream cheese, some cheddar cheese, and some heavy whipping cream. Cream? Cream cheese and heavy whipping cream and half a stick of butter. Oh God, okay, all right, you know what, let's. And now we're ready to assemble this lasagna. So here we go. And when I kind of made this up, they kind of fit, but there was a little bit of slice in the bottom left, so I just put an extra piece down in there. That watch is so loose. Did you see how that shit was just dangling? Some of this taco meat. You're gonna layer it on top of there, and you're gonna take some of this pico de gallo and sprinkle it on top of there too. Oh God, oh God. Warm pico de gallo sounds horrendous. That sounds, oh. The best part about pico de gallo is that it's chilled. Why would you put it in a lasagna and heat it up? I swear to God, she puts guac on top of this thing and puts it in the oven, I'm going to lose my shit. You're gonna make about three layers of this stuff. So kind of split yourself up into thirds on it. Cream cheese. Oh, oh God. Put it's, it over top of there. Uh, uh, oh, that looks so chunky. God. <laughs> Mixture. Just layer it on top of that. Please. Then what I did was... Uh. Then, what I did was, I took some cheddar cheese, grated it up fresh from the block. It's always better than buying it for prepackaged. That's true. She is right about that. Away. It's going to bake in the oven for 15 minutes, and we'll see what it looks like. My favorite part is the taco lasagna text that has just been directly in front of her face this entire time. She doesn't understand that she can set a time limit on it. I think that's so good. Delicious. Look at this. <laughs> the quick little look at the screen. They'll like check if it's recording. I love that. Elizabeth, you're doing great. And what I'm going to do is just top it with a little bit of green onion. We're going to put a dollop or two. Oh God, not the Ortega taco sauce. <laughs> it's not even the hot one. It's medium. Oh, look how crusty that bottle is. Elizabeth, how old is that? Taco sauce. Oh, oh, God. Now, doesn't that look good? No. Oh, God. Oh, I don't know how I can keep doing this, guys. All right, what else we got here? Hey, y'all. How about we make some of my nanny's homemade sloppy joes? We're going ahead and browning some ground beef. That looks like it actually has moisture to it, so that's a start. Some Worcestershire sauce, a can of tomato soup, some salt and pepper, and I diced up some celery, some onion, and some garlic. That's all of her ingredients. That's, there's no seasoning in that. Salt, pepper, ketchup, mustard, Worcestershire sauce, and garlic. <laughs> I drained off some of the grease off of it, and I'm gonna go ahead and add my celery, my onion, 
and my garlic. She's not even gonna like brown the vegetables. She's just putting it straight in with the meat, which means that by the time the vegetables are actually cooked, the meat is just dry. Two cloves of garlic, a medium onion, and about two stalks of celery. Mmm, celery? Wait, hold on. You're putting celery in your sloppy joes? Elizabeth, Liz, come on. Liz, Liz, don't do this to me, Liz, please, for the love of God. Put that in here. <laughs> she keeps getting me with this close up. I'm gonna show you what I have. I've just got old ketchup here. We're gonna have a bunch of Probably a good cup or so of ketchup. Oh God! That was like four cups, sweetie. Then I've just got a great value. Oh, you're putting more tomato in there. Some salt and a bunch of pepper. Oh, that's hella pepper. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is so much. That is so much pepper. Liz! Liz, no! Oh my god. This is worse than the lasagna. I'm gonna stir it around. See if it needs a little bit more something. You can always add more water. Or you can add more ketchup. What I like to do too is that a good. Because <laughs> that kind of. And you want to mix it all up. I cannot do this right now, dude. I'm losing my appetite. It's green, bro. Her sloppy joes are green. <laughs> Hours? <laughs> oh my god. I didn't think it could get worse. I didn't I didn't think it could get worse. I thought I thought oh my god Liz And then uh, I get me some low carb buns or bread. I've actually got some low carb bread that I got at Walmart. And it's and I'm gonna use it. I'm, Costco's got it too. It's called the Solar Brand. I'm living there with a bunch of non-low carvers, so they're going to eat it on regular bones, which probably tastes better, but um, my nanny used to make this, and then she would store it in Cool Whip containers in the freezer, and then when we would come over, she would separate hamburger buns, and she would chisel out a scoop of it and put it on each of the buns, and she would bake it in the oven for like 350 until it got as brown as she wanted. That's gotta be child abuse. Like you can call CPS and they'll they'll help you out. <laughs> I'll, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Who said white people don't have culture? This is it right here. Chiseling out mustard, ketchup, sloppy joes out of the freezer in a Cool Whip can and serving it to your child. That's culture. <laughs> oh God, dude. That sounds like the most disgusting thing. Like I am, I'm genuinely getting upset right now. This. She keeps speaking and it's just, it's killing me. It's killing me, Elizabeth. You're killing me. It's mixed up and it's done. It's just got to sit there and cook. So hope y'all are having a great evening. Look forward to seeing y'all. I'll be at the beach for about another 10 days. And so I'm going to see what else I can concoct up down here. Have a great weekend, y'all. Bye. Oh, she's just so happy though. I, I do love her, her pure bliss and, and joy. I, I, I genuinely wonder what would happen if I cooked a meal for her. Like, I wonder what she would say. <sighs> never change, Liz. And never enter my kitchen. Please.